Kyler Murray is back. Perfect segue. Thank you guys very much. Um, they are not ruling out his future in Arizona. So, you know, obviously we know how bad they are. Obviously they're in the runnings for one of the top quarterbacks in this coming draft, right? But they're not ruling out Kyler Murray being their future QB1. Now, here's where I know that they're lying. I know they're lying. This is something that they have to say. He's returning from injury. Do you honestly believe that they're going to put out a press release saying that there's they're not sure if the guy that they paid big money to is not going to be in their immediate plans? We have to read between the lines, people. Right? Kyler Murray is going to be their quarterback until they can be able to pick the next quarterback. That's the truth. There's going to be probably not a new coach, but this coach is going to be able to pick his quarterback, right? Shane Steichen is going to be able to pick his quarterback. Or is it the other guy? No, it's not Shane Steichen. It's the, um, the defensive coordinator. But Kyler Murray needs to realize that he's on audition now. He's not playing for the Cardinals. He's playing for some other teams. And he needs to find a way to be mature. Now, I want to send a shot or a shout out to one of my grid employees or members. Shouts to Parnell. He runs Commander's Demand. He had a podcast. It wasn't on his Commander's Demand show, I don't believe, or maybe it was, where he was talking about Kyla Murray, saying that how there's some comparisons between him and Michael Vick in regards to immaturity, right? That he just doesn't get it. And at some point, he needs to understand what's what's in front of him. Kyler Murray responded to Parnell on Commander's Demand. And... Did he really? Yeah. He <clears throat> said that you shouldn't believe all the stuff that you hear and blah, blah. That right there is the problem. Yeah. Right? This is a guy that is making millions of dollars and you have the time to be able to send pod shots at somebody who's literally having an opinion. Now, it's not it wasn't even a critical opinion. It was just more of an assessment of what he's seeing, right? Fair. Based on what you hear, what you see, all the tea leaves, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the problem with Kyler Murray too thin-skinned you can't be a thin-skinned quarterback in this league because when you play well the team gets the credit when you play poorly you get the blame that's the job of a quarterback you're always going to be under scrutiny without and, question without question and that's his issue is that he doesn't seem to realize that his behavior his attitude or his demeanor is going to get him out of town. Well, he's very immature. Yeah. Like everything about him playing video, like the, I mean, I don't know too much. I the reports. Read, the reports. Yeah. Playing video games more than you're studying your playbook. Right. Where it's in your contract. And why would you sign that contract? Right. Number one. And then number two, like the other thing where he removed everything from the car oh, like that that's the on, on social media like that's the new gen thing but like, like yeah. how do you like i don't understand how you're that thin skinned like that soft yeah i would say like yeah. i don't understand it's it's this new generation man it's the it's the fact that they've been told their entire lives that listen you're great you do things wonderful you're the you're a superstar people like you <laughs> and then the first bit of adversity that you face can't handle it that's why what you do with these kids are super important because adversity they need it all the time they need to know how to be able to handle it so when they get to the next level or they get to any type of situation in their life they can be able to process and move forward exactly you understand what i'm saying he doesn't have that skill right now hopefully he can get it but right now he doesn't have it